finally, let's talk about nuclear power again. We had mentioned before that fission-based nuclear power had runaway reactions and considerable waste, waste that we need to be considerate about. But what if we could move those two cons for fission over to the pro side? That would make it a much better deal for humanity. Uh, and that's what the promise of fusion-based nuclear power is about. Still carbon-free, still less cancer risk than traditional energy sources like your coal and natural gas. This actually has an even more significantly higher energy density. Fusion-based nuclear power is about 10 times more power than a fission-based one, which by itself was already about a million times more energy dense than something like coal. But fusion-based nuclear reactors have an extra plus that fission reactors didn't have. Fusion-based reactors cannot have runaway reactions. What I mean by that is, do you remember the temperature requirement? Hotter than 15 million Celsius. If something were to happen, it actually would slow down the reaction, and so the reaction would stop on its own. That means you couldn't get a reaction runaway like Chernobyl. Not only that, but the fuel that's inside a fusion-based nuclear reactor would be tritium, so that's a hydrogen with three nucleons, right? Would be like tritium and helium. Things that have such short half-lives that they're not going to significantly irradiate the population in the way Chernobyl did. One of the problems with Chernobyl is a lot of those nuclear wastes that were ejected from the site have extremely long half-lives, right? In the hundreds, thousands, billions of years for the uranium, right? So as a result, Fusion based would actually be safer because even if there were an accident, that waste is going to decay very quickly, but then be neutral. Cons, it doesn't exist yet. We're working on it. It needs huge amounts of investment. And remember those extremely high temperatures. I don't know if you can imagine how we could get something that hot to safely exist on our planet. Let's talk about some ways people are looking into fusion-based nuclear power right now. The first and probably most promising is the tokamak that is done by ITER. It's a 35 country uh, collaboration. This would be a reactor that uses magnetic confinement, basically a bunch of magnetic fields to levitate the particles so they could get that very hot temperature, but not do things like melt all the systems around it, right? In this case, the plasma would be stored in a torus. A torus is like the fancy physics way of saying donut shape. Um, a torus-shaped plasma right here in the center of this drawing. And this has been under construction since about 1986. And we're hoping will be done sometime in the middle of the 2030s. Another thing that the U.S. in particular is looking towards with the National Ignition Facility is to be able to use lasers to both confine the hydrogen, confine the tritium into one little tiny area, and then get that high temperature by shining lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of extremely high power in the terawatts of power lasers at the same spot for a fraction of a second. So. Other countries are doing this as well, but I actually don't want you to count fission reactors out. There is one promising future tech in terms of fission reactors, and that's the molten thorium salt reactor. Um, the U.S. came up with designs for this, but we've never built one. Uh, this picture is actually from NRG in the Netherlands, but lots of groups are looking into thorium salt reactors right now because similar to how fusions uh, benefit was that you can't have a runaway chain reaction is that molten thorium salt reactors can't have a runaway chain reaction. Basically what happens in this is you have this liquid thorium salt and if it starts to overheat it melts this cap down here at the bottom and drains out of the reactor preventing you from having a runaway reaction. So even if something happened like your power goes out and so you can't get that heat exchange that you still get a reactor that is you know not going to melt or explode or 
throw nuclei anywhere. Ooh, with a bonus thing. Thorium salt reactors can actually run on the waste from uranium fission reactors. We could get rid of some of that nuclear waste that's been sitting in storage by using a molten thorium salt reactor. So those three future techs, right, the tokamak, the National Ignition Facility, and the general category of molten thorium salt reactors are all ways we're looking into powering um, our future, getting away from coal and natural gas and oil and towards some sort of energy where we don't need to be polluting our atmosphere and contributing to climate change. So try the review problems out for your own. Best of luck to you. Happy Monday. Bye guys.